Welcome to Science with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover apex predators. Apex predators are predators that sit atop of food chain or food web. They have no natural predators when fully grown. Now, healthy apex predators mean a healthy ecosystem. They are key to that health. We're going to go through a few apex predator examples and talk about why they are, why they are so important. All right, so for our examples, we have orcas or killer whales, grizzly bears, lions, and saltwater crocodiles. So all apex predators, they are at the top of the food chain when fully grown. So let's get into their importance to ecosystems, and we'll start with their importance to balance. Without apex predators, ecosystems can quickly become unstable and get out of balance. Apex predators keep population numbers in check. Herbivores, for example, can deplete plant populations, grasses, fields, etc. That will eventually lead to a crash of that population due to a lack of food brought about by that unbalance. Prey populations and ecosystems in general are healthier with healthy predator numbers. Another example are coral reefs. Sharks are an indication of a healthy reef. Everything is in check and populations are healthy and sustainable. Staying with herbivores, without predators, populations may mainly stay in one area. This again causes everything to be overeaten down to an unsustainable level. Apex predators keep prey populations on the move. It keeps vegetation numbers at a healthy level and also allows seeds to mature to a grown state. And I have a great example when it comes to an herbivore population negatively impacting an ecosystem due to overpopulation. To make a long story short, around 1930, all of the wolves were killed off within the Yellowstone ecosystem. Therefore, pressure was taken off the elk population. They were able to stay in one spot more often. The elk decreased the willow population. Beavers use willow to build dams and they also eat it. So with the increased elk population, there was a decrease in the beaver population. Around 1995, wolves were reintroduced to Yellowstone. This in turn, with other factors, has helped the beaver population. Apex predators also keep small carnivore populations in check. For example, take a look at this basic food chain. So we have grass, a mouse, snake, and a hawk. Let's eliminate the hawk. Without that predator, the snake population would increase. In turn, the mouse population would decrease due to an increase in the snakes. There's nothing to keep the snake population in check. If the snake population got too out of control, it could crash the mouse population. That would then crash the snake population. Everything is connected and in balance. The apex predators help keep it that way. Now with all this being said, you may be asking yourself, well, what keeps the apex predator populations in check? I will cover that in my next video and I'll drop that link below in the description. For now, know that apex predators are critical to the health and balance of an ecosystem. So there you have it, there's apex predators and their importance to ecosystems. I hope that helped, thanks so much for watching, until next time, peace.